Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian pairs and starting with the Aussie US dollar here. Now, um, a little bit of a tricky one. I don't think that we should be looking for long trades unless we have 72 of support. That's the main thing here. This move uh, up through here from this low here does count quite nicely as an A and a B and a C wave uh, into the 61.8 retracement level as we we're talking about yesterday and this is where it can fail from here so I suggest we just allow it to, um, to, to move into this space and let's just see what pattern occurs here. If we can identify uh, from here some type of three wave correction then we know that the market will be positive and we can go up from that point there. Okay. Now the Australian yen on the daily chart here to me it's reasonably clear that we have from wave B up here on the do all the way down here to five waves down here so really that should be a low here but I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the with the pattern here um, and that's what we need to uh, talk about again um, so just on the two hour chart you can see how this market's really sitting nicely on 80 here major trading level so you know we are calling I am calling a low in here but the problem is is that this move up through here should be five waves but it, it just appears that it's an A and a B and then five waves up for the C wave so it's actually in three waves so it makes it corrective so it doesn't really matter what happens here we you know we, we it, it's basically telling me that that we're in a corrective pattern um, and yes we can see um, I mean all of this here that could also be bullish as well I mean it's got overlapping wave structures that's sure but um, they're all corrective in nature so it could push up very strongly um, I don't know but what I was thinking is um, you know yesterday we had basic we were looking at this as five waves down through here so there was a possibility that a top could be in play here, <coughs> here and would be coming up as an A and a B and a C to the 61.8 retracement level and then move down from that point. Um, that, haven't, that hasn't given us that break and what's occurred here is that we've got one, two, three. So it still could fail from there if it, but if it takes that high out, this high here out, then then um, then we need to look at this as five waves as one two three four and five it's not that we need to chase it at that point what we will need to look for after we've completed five waves we need to see if we're going to get an impulse wave to the downside because then that will give us three waves back and then down again from that point however in this move down from here if we only get three waves down then then we know that it's corrective at that point and then we know that we're going to be in a bullish market from that point okay so it's just something that we need to work through that's all um okay the next one uh is the pound uh aussie now uh you know wave fours get a bit complicated and so on but it certainly has done all the right things you know we were looking for a 38.2 retracement level from this low you know back into to this so we it's kind of nailed there so you know the more that um you can see uh weakness in this market then you know that we'll be looking for further down so and i think the 190 is a, a reasonable task to ask in terms of distance here but coming into group one um you know that um so basically we can look to short it again from here i'll leave you finding a setup here and the setup would simply be taking out either the trend line through here now with trend lines, if I can just point out, even though things like, you know, when something breaks through, they'll come back and test it. And when I say they'll come back and, you know, I say that sort of quite firmly, um, you know, I'd say that, you know, 90 odd percent of the time, enough to make it sort of worthwhile in, you know, to include in your thinking and positioning and those sorts of things. And of course, a break below any one of these would be fine as well. You just need to leave the stop out of the way and the target area will be, uh, down at the 190 here so uh, let's just move this here 
and um, I'll just clean this up while I'm here as well and uh, we don't need that so that's all good so that's that that's played out so yeah we're looking for basically a short trade we can pull this one off here and look for that low there I'm just going to save that there and we're going to have a look at the um, the euro pound uh, the euro Aussie in the next one and oops, wait for us to save okay now I think we should exit this short trade here because um, I was looking for five waves down and not all markets actually finish the way that you know they don't top out exactly the, the way that we want them uh, a lot of the time and um, uh, and in this particular case here if we look from wave four here we can see that this is wave one and wave two here then we can see this is wave three yes it's possible that this could be wave three here as well um, but I just want to stay with this for a moment wave four here and wave five here making a new low so this market can push up from here okay um, I think that it's still got further to go to the downside here down into 150 here but I think that it's also going to get quite choppy as well so I can see that the move up off the low here uh, is, is impulsive this is correct so we we'll probably end up up here anyway so I think it's a good time to exit right here and we'll save that and um, yeah, we can. I mean, this is the Euro Aussie, so we can have a look at the um, the flip side to this, which will be the the Aussie uh, Euro, just to get another view on this. And in this case here, we can see that um, you know, and if you do trade currencies, it's always good to have the other flip side going if you can, because you can start to see things here. So you could see that this is just a, you know, this is a an over. Well, well, it was a classic trading levels pattern, um, but a variation of it where it just goes straight up and then sits on the level. So, which is 65 is a medium level here. So it's got really nice support here. We can count one, two, three, four, five for one and back for two. Wave three here, uh, wave four. So one and two. Three. So it's it, it appears that it's got further to go to the upside, but it wouldn't be a lot anyway, you know. So. Um, you know we can revisit it once we've got some more information uh, on it but you know we're looking at five waves here uh, we should be looking for a correction shortly uh, here as well all right um, that's that cheers